Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby ribbon hat. And then in my next video that will be coming out next week on Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to crochet the ribbon booties that match the hat. So just make sure to watch for that video that will be coming out next week. Okay, so the hat that I'll be showing you today is made for a zero to three month baby with a head circumference of 12 to 14 inches. The materials needed to make this hat, some soft worsted weight yarn, and I used Red Heart Love brand. So as you can see from the picture, there's a purple hat and a pink hat. For the purple hat, I used lilac and soft white, and for the pink hat, I used perfect pink and soft white. And I used about a half a skein of yarn for both colors. You're going to need a size H8 hook or five millimeter hook, a stitch marker, you're going to need some ribbon and you're going to want that to be 5 eighths of an inch wide. And make sure when you pick your ribbon that it matches your hat. You're going to need a yarn needle. Now the lighter is optional and I use it to seal my ribbon and I'm going to show you how to do that later in this video. You're going to need some thread and a thread needle so just make sure your thread matches your ribbon. And then lastly you're going to want some scissors. Now if you'd rather follow the written instructions rather than the video, I have a link in the description box below and that will take you to my website where this pattern is. Okay, so before we start, just realize that the chain three in the beginning of each round will count as a double crochet. Okay, so for round one, we're going to start with color A and in this video, I'm going to use the color lilac. We're going to start with a magic ring. We're going to chain three, which is our first double crochet. We'll be working nine double crochets into the ring, pull the ring closed, and then slip stitch into our first double crochet to join. And this will be a total of 10 double crochets. I'm going to start out by using the magic circle or magic ring. And if you don't know how to do this, go to the description box below and there I'll have a link to my video tutorial on how to do this. Now go ahead and chain three and remember this is going to be our first double crochet. Now we're going to work nine double crochets into our ring. So yarn over, insert your hook into your ring, yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, then pull through the last two loops, and we'll go ahead and do this eight more times. So this will be your third double crochet because we're counting the chain. This is your fourth double crochet. Your fifth. sixth, seventh, and this is eighth, and then your ninth double crochet into the ring. Now go ahead and pull your ring closed. And now we're going to locate our first chain, insert your hook, and place a slip stitch. Moving on to round two, we're going to chain three. We're going to place two double crochets in each double crochet around and then slip stitch into our first double crochet to join. Now before we start round two, go ahead and grab your stitch marker and place it into that last stitch that we just made. Okay, so starting on round two, we're going to chain three. We're now going to place two double crochets in each double crochet around. Now because our chain three counts as our first double crochet, we're only going to add one more double crochet to this first stitch. So this double crochet will be considered our second double crochet into this first stitch. Now go ahead and continue placing two double crochets into each stitch around. So there's one, and there's two, and that's in your second stitch. And place another two into the third stitch. So there's one. And there's two double crochets into the third stitch. And then we just do the same thing into the fourth stitch. So there's one. And then two double crochets into the fourth. And then let's do two more. One. And two into the fifth. And then one. And two into the sixth. And then there's one, and two into the seventh, and now into the eighth, we're going to do two more again. And then in your ninth, do two more. And then in your last, in your last, in your tenth stitch, we're going to place two more double crochets to end. 
And now we're going to slip stitch into our first double crochet to join. And remember our first double crochet is that chain three. So find the chain three and insert your hook into the top chain. And then slip stitch into that top chain to join. Also, before moving on to the next round, just make sure that you have 20 double crochets. For round three, we're going to chain three and then we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet and then place two double crochets into the next double crochet. And then we'll repeat this all the way around and then slip stitch into the first double crochet to join. Okay, so just remember before we start round three, just move your stitch marker up to the very last stitch that we just made. Okay, so starting on round three, we're going to chain three. So there's three chains. And now remember that this first chain counts as our first double crochet. And so because of that, we don't need to place another double crochet into this first stitch. So we're going to skip that and we're going to place two double crochets into the next double crochet. So there's one, and then two double crochets into that second stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern nine more times for a total of 10. So place one double crochet into the next stitch, and then place two into the next stitch. So there's one, and two, and then place one double crochet into the next stitch, and then two into the next. So there's one, two. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish this round on your own. So pause the video now, and I will meet you back here to finish this round. Just make sure you have 30 double crochets when you get finished with this round. Okay, so to finish this round, we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet to join. And again, remember that the chain is our first double crochet. Okay, so I'm gonna let you read round four on your own and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so move your stitch marker up to the last stitch made. And again, we're going to chain three. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next two double crochets. So the chain will count as your first double crochet. And so we'll just place one more double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so now we're going to place two double crochets into the next double crochet. So there's one, and there's two double crochets into that next stitch. So let's repeat that same pattern nine more times for a total of 10. So in the next two stitches, we're going to place one double crochet. So there's your first, and in the next stitch, place another double crochet. And now place two double crochets in this next stitch. So there's your first double crochet, and then your second into that next stitch and then just keep repeating this pattern. So in the next two stitches, only place one double crochet, and then in the third, place two. So there's one and two. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish off this round on your own, and then I'll meet you back here to start round five. Okay, so moving on to rounds five through eight, we're not going to be chaining three anymore, and instead we're just going to place a front cross stitch in each stitch around. And if you're not familiar with the front cross stitch, we're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, working around the front of the last stitch made, we're going to double crochet into the skip stitch. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so starting on round five, I'm going to bring up my stitch marker to the last stitch I just made. Now remember, for rounds five through eight, we're not going to be chaining three, but instead we're going to front cross stitch in each stitch around instead. So yarn over the hook and place your first double crochet into the second stitch. So this means we'll be skipping the first stitch where our stitch marker is located and placing our first double crochet into the second stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook and place your first double crochet into that second stitch. Now what we'll do is work to the front and around that double crochet we just made and place our next double crochet into the stitch where our stitch marker is located. And this is our first front cross stitch made. So now let's go ahead and do that again. So we're going to skip the next stitch and place a double crochet from the second stitch from our hook. So again, bring your hook to the front and around our last double crochet we just made and place the next double crochet into our skipped stitch. And there's your second front cross stitch. 
Okay, so let's do this again. Yarn over and place your next double crochet into the second stitch from your hook. Yarn over again and place your next double crochet into the skipped stitch. Okay, so I'm going to do this a couple more times with you. So skip the next stitch and place a double crochet. And then working around that double crochet, place another double crochet into the skip stitch. And then we'll do it again. Skip the next stitch, place another double crochet, and then place another double crochet into the skip stitch. Okay, so I'm going to let you continue working on this round on your own, but I will be back to show you how to finish this round before moving on. Okay, so now what we're going to do before finishing this round is we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet to join. So I took my stitch marker out to make this easier, and now I'm going to locate the first stitch that I made in this round, insert my hook, and then place a slip stitch to join. All right, so I'm going to let you finish round six through eight on your own, and remember they're done the exact same way as our last round, and that was round five. So if you need help, go back to the eight minute and 43 second mark, and just follow round five again. Now that round six through eight are finished, we need to fasten off this section of the hat. So locate your first stitch that you made in this round, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch, and now pull through the loop on your hook, and now we're going to fasten the hat off. So go ahead and take your scissors, cut the yarn leaving a few inches, and pull that tail end of yarn through the loop on your hook, and then just tighten that up to fasten. All right, so this is what your hat should be looking like. Moving on to round nine, we're going to attach color B, single crochet in each stitch around, and then slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. Now we're going to attach color B, and again I'm using Soft White from Red Heart Love. So go ahead and make a slip knot, and then attach the slip knot to the stitch right in front of the stitch marker. Insert your hook into the stitch in front of your stitch marker, and then pull the slip knot through the stitch. Now yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the slip knot. Okay, so this round is going to be really easy because all we're going to do is just single crochet around. So I'm going to do the first few single crochets with you, and then I'll let you finish up this round on your own, but just make sure you have 40 single crochets when you finish. And just a side note, the last round we did was the front cross stitch, but remember that the stitches are still the same as they would be for the regular double crochet. So we'll just single crochet around like we normally would. Okay, so go ahead and keep working on these single crochets, and then I'll meet you back here to finish up this round. Okay, so let's slip stitch into the first single crochet to join and finish up this round. So insert your hook into your first single crochet, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and through the loop on your hook. Before we move on to round 10, just know that the chain four counts as our first triple crochet. So for round 10, we're going to chain four and then triple crochet in each stitch around. And then we'll slip stitch in the first triple crochet to join. So round 10 will be really easy as well because all we're going to do is just triple crochet in each stitch around. So to start that, we're going to go ahead and chain four. So here's one, two, and three, four chains. And remember, these four chains will count as our first triple crochet. And now all we'll do is just triple crochet in each stitch around. So to do that, go ahead and yarn over two times, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. There will now be four loops on your hook, so yarn over and pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the second two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook to make that triple crochet. So let's do that again. Yarn over the hook two times, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, pull through the second two loops, and then pull through the last two loops on your hook. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. So this will be our fourth triple crochet because we're counting our chain. All right, so I'm going to do this next triple crochet with you, and then I'll let you keep working on these triple crochets on your own. So go ahead and pause the video now, and I'll meet you back here to finish up this round. All right, to finish up the round, let's slip stitch into the first triple crochet to join. So find your first chain that you made, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through that chain, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And when you finish this round, just make sure you have 40 triple crochets around. 
All right, so round 11 will also be really easy. All we're going to do again is just single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so again, all we're going to do is just single crochet in each stitch around. So just locate your first stitch and place that first single crochet. And I'll do a few of these with you. So that should be your third. It's your fourth. So just keep working those single crochets all the way around the hat. And this time I'm going to let you finish this round on your own by slip stitching to join. And then I'll meet you back here for round 12. All right, so round 12 is our last round for this hat, and it is a little bit more tricky. We're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to place two triple crochets into the next stitch, and then a double crochet into the next stitch with a half double crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so we're going to start out by half double crocheting into the next stitch. So locate your next stitch. Yarn over your hook and insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. There will be three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the last three loops on your hook. And now we're going to double crochet into the same stitch as that half double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that same stitch as the half double crochet, and place a double crochet. And now we're going to place two triple crochets into the next stitch. So to do this, remember to yarn over the hook two times, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the second two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And again, do this one more time into the same stitch, And there's our second triple crochet into that next stitch. And now go ahead and place one double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to place a half double crochet into the exact same stitch where we placed our double crochet. And now let's go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch, and your loop on your hook. So those first set of stitches basically just created our first ruffle. So now let's repeat what we just did all the way around to create more ruffles for our hat. So again, we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to place one double crochet into the exact same stitch. And now place two triple crochets into the next stitch. So there's our first triple crochet, and remember to place one more triple crochet into the same stitch. And I'm trying to go slow on purpose so that you guys can really get this, because I know there's a lot to it. But there's your second triple crochet. And then in the next stitch, place a double crochet. And in the same stitch, place a half double crochet. And now in the next stitch, place one slip stitch. Okay, so I'm going to go through this real slowly again one more time, and then I'll let you guys finish off this round. So again, let's start with a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then a double crochet into the same stitch. and then place two triple crochets into the next stitch, so there's our first triple, and then let's place a second into the same stitch, and then there's a double into the next stitch, and then a half double into that same stitch as the double. And now place a slip stitch into the next stitch. All right, so go ahead and finish this last round on your own, and if you need any help, go to minute 1557, 
and that way you can just keep following along with the video if that helps. Okay, so if everything went smoothly, you should have ended this round by placing a slip stitch into the same stitch where your marker is located. And also, just make sure you have 70 stitches when you finish this round. Alright, so now it's time to fasten off our hat. So grab your scissors and then cut the yarn, leaving about 4 or 5 inches for weaving. Now pull the tail end of yarn through the loop on your hook to fasten off. So we're going to have a lot of leftover yarn strands, so let's grab our yarn needle and weave them in. So now go ahead and start weaving in your loose ends through your hat. Now that you've stitched in all of your loose ends, now it's time to weave the ribbon in and out of our triple crochets. And remember our triple crochets are on round 10. Now before you actually cut your ribbon, the best thing to do before you start is measure the baby's head or just make sure to weave loosely through the hat. That way the hat won't be too tight on the baby's head. So find your triple crochets and just start weaving your ribbon in and out of them. So what I like to do is weave under one triple crochet stitch and then I take the ribbon and go over the top of the next two triple crochet stitches. And then I weave under one and then I take it over two. And then I just repeat that pattern all the way around the hat. And I think it just kind of gives it a cute look. Now you can weave in your ribbon however you want. So if you feel like you have a better idea, just go with it. So I'm going to let you finish doing this and then I'll meet you back here to show you what's next. So after you get your ribbon how you want it, start sewing the ends of your ribbon together with a needle and thread. Alright, so now it's time to make our bows for our hats. And to be honest with you, I'm not really great at bow tutorials. So what I'm going to do is quickly demonstrate how I make my bow. And then I'm going to leave a couple of bow tutorial links in my description box below. So that way, if you need a better tutorial than what I'm giving you right here, go click on those links and there you'll find some better bow tutorials. So as you can see, I'm folding my ribbon several times. And each section of ribbon is just barely overlapping each other. Now you can overlap your ribbon three or four times, and I chose to do four times for this bow. So cut the end off your ribbon, grab your needle and thread, and then just stitch in and out of the ribbon with your needle and thread. So when you're doing this, make sure you're only stitching in one direction and that you're stitching through each section of ribbon. Okay, so now that I'm done stitching through the ribbon, I'm going to pull on the thread tightly and then wrap the thread around my bow. Now let's go ahead and just stitch through that bow and make sure it's really nice and tight and secure. Okay, so now go ahead and just spread your bow out and make it look pretty. So now let's take care of those tail ends. So grab your scissors and cut both of those tail ends at an angle so that they look nice. So for this reason, it's great to have a lighter. I like to use my lighter to seal the ends of my ribbon. And if you do it lightly, it works out great and it will keep your ribbon from fraying. So I ended up making two separate bows for my hat and then I stitched them together and sewed an extra piece of ribbon around the middle of both bows. So now what I'm going to do is just stitch my bow into my hat. After you stitch the bow into your hat, this is what it should be looking like. And I just wanted to show you the purple one and the pink one that I did before I go. So here's the pink one. And I just did the bow the exact same way as I did the purple. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So again, before I go, I know that bow tutorial wasn't great, so that's why I'm going to leave those links in the description box below. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and don't forget to watch the matching booties tutorial that goes along with this hat.